Welcome to day nine of the 12 days of solstice. To answer the question, which way? The answer is face the front. Here's what we mean. We know that we have to tilt the reference line by 23.5 degrees, but we're not sure which way. To answer that question, instead of being a fly on the wall, we're going to be a fly on the ceiling. We're going to be a fly on the ceiling while we watch a science teacher walk around the classroom holding a globe. So if you walk around the room with the South Pole next to your body and the North Pole facing away from you, you'll end up in a constant state of equinox. Try this instead. It helps if your body is transparent and now you're going to have to walk backwards, but this works. This is the way to do it. You see, if we use this system, we'll be in a constant state of equinox because the North Pole is going to keep changing directions as we go around the circle. Instead, we should hold the North Pole facing the front of the room. Now, it doesn't have to be the front. It could be either side or the back or anywhere else, as long as the North Pole always faces the same direction. I think we're getting a little bit of insight into how the solstice works just from this much. Well, it's time for recap. We have the center of the sun and the center of the earth and a line that joins them all living on the same plane and they never leave that plane during the whole year during the annual orbit. So then we drew a line that passed through the center of the earth perpendicular to the plane. We have to tilt that line by 23.5 degrees, but we weren't sure in what direction. And now by using this system, we're there. You just have to keep the North Pole always facing in the same direction. While we're getting there, folks, tune in next time as we begin to wrap things up.